Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Lauren of Lauren Makes Plans and today I am here to do another Bible journaling video in the book of Exodus. So it's been a while since there's been a Bible journaling video or really much of any kind of video of any sort. It's been really crazy busy, um, a lot of things happening, a lot of travel happening and just a lot of chaos happening just in general with videos. I don't know. It's been just kind of crazy. So I'm back with another Bible journaling video. I'm trying so, 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 so hard to finish up the book of Exodus. I am almost, almost done. And I will kind of show you kind of since the last time that I did a video in Exodus, I've added a Bible tassel to my Bible in case you missed that, which I think is really fun. So there's my Bible tassel, which I'm gonna kind of just move over. But since the last time that I Bible journaled in Exodus, I have done quite a bit on my own because I was really, really behind on adding my notes from my notebook over into my Bible. And if I waited to film it all, then I would never get done with it. So I've done quite a bit on my own, which I'll kind of just give you a sneak preview of, and then we'll kind of jump right into what I'm doing. This is all stuff that I had done previously. I don't even remember the last one that I filmed. It may have been the Book of the Covenant. It may have been after that, but I'm not sure. So here's the Book of the Covenant, which I know I filmed. And since then, I think that might be the last thing that I did. So since then, I have finished out this chapter I have done chapter 25, a lot of things about the furniture that is put in the tabernacle, including the Ark of the Covenant, the mercy seat, um, the candlestick, and then some more into chapter 26 that includes the layers that were used to build the tabernacle, the bronze altar, some post-it notes about references to um, the sacrifice of Christ, the entrance to the tabernacle, the oil for the lamp, um, the garments for the priest. And then I've got a whole bunch of stuff, still more about the priest garments, the consecration ceremony, the different offerings that they would do. And then finishing up about the furniture in the tabernacle, I've got the altar of incense, um, the bronze basin, the anointing oil and the incense and that is where I finish up I have made it through chapter 30 there are only 40 chapters in the book of Exodus so I have I only have 10 chapters left of putting notes over here before I'm completely done as far as what I've actually studied in um, my workbook that I am going through for Exodus this is what I'm using to study Exodus I'm using this workbook from Jen Wilkin. You can get this at Lifeway or Amazon or several other places, but I have gone through nine out of the 10 weeks. It's taken me a long time. I haven't been doing this consistently because my ladies group at church is doing a different one. So I'm kind of just doing this one when I get time. So I have made it through Exodus chapter 34. I have 35 through 40 to finish doing study on, and then I will put those notes over here. So as far as what I actually have left, to put in my Bible that I already have notes taken on, I just have to go through chapter 34 and I'll be caught up on my notes. And then I will just have the last five chapters until I will be completely done with Exodus. I have absolutely loved studying the book of Exodus. It has been so eye-opening, so game-changing. It is so helpful when you understand Exodus for things throughout the whole rest of the Bible in ways that I never imagined or never thought could be, um, but also I've been in Exodus since July of 2023 and it is now May of 2024 and I'm ready to be done with it. I'm ready. So with that being said, I have some notes here that I'm going to put in. Um, the way that the study is kind of laid out, it kind of went out of order. So a lot of these notes are from chapters 28 and 29, which you just saw um, I already have in here. But I did not finish the notes from this week because it has chapters 28, 29, and 31. I did not finish the notes from this week in my Bible because I did chapters 28 and 29. And then I went back a couple weeks 
to where chapter 30 was and put chapter 30 in first. And now I'm going back over here to get all of the notes for chapter 31. So that's where we're going is chapter 31 in Exodus, which is actually kind of a shorter chapter. So I'm going to try to get through chapter 31. That's wrinkled up and it's bothering me. So I'm going to get through chapter 31 in this video and kind of see where else we go from there. So as usual, I have my same highlighters that I have been using throughout the whole book of Exodus. These are all from Mr. Penn. I don't know the exact color names because there are not color names. Um, these all just came in a 20 pack off of Amazon. It should be linked in my journaling favorites list in the description box. So I have those four colors that I've been using through this whole book. I also have a Micron 03 pen and my Tombow brush pen. So those are the things I have to be using. I may also use some transparent sticky notes in some places here and there. Haven't decided yet, um, but this is a short chapter, so we may not need sticky notes, but we'll see. So at this point, I have been going through all of the giving of the law as well as the giving of the instructions for the building of the tabernacle. I've made it all the way through the instructions for the actual materials to build as far as um, the court, the Holy of Holies, the holy place, like all of the things, all of the furniture, the hangings, where the door's gonna go, um, what kind of materials and designs need to be used for everything from the tent and the furniture to the garments of the priests. Now, the last thing that I have to do as far as the actual instructions that were given to Moses on the Mount is in chapter 31, and it is the choosing of the workmen, the choosing of who is actually going to be the ones to build this tabernacle. So that is where I'm at. And once I finish that, I will be done with the instructions for the building of the tabernacle, which is kind of exciting. And then it gets into chapter 32. And let me tell you, chapter 32 gets a little wild. Like it gets a little wild. So the last color I used was the yellow. I have my markers out of order, but I'm on this one. And I've got some notes for the workmen's, for the, for the workmen. So first I've kind of been labeling like the headings of each section here. So I think I'm gonna do that. Mm, let's see, how do I wanna do it? Let's do it this way. My coral orangey color marker is kind of seeing better days. I've used it so much that my tip is kind of, I don't know if you can see it, kind of getting a little fat and frayed and things because I've used this one for a while and it's holding out for me, but just barely. All right, so there we have a title for this section. So not only does God tell them how to build the tabernacle, but he tells them who will build it. I've kind of figured out with this micron that it needs a second to dry before you highlight over it. So I'm going to let that dry here. And then I'm going to go over here and highlight kind of where he points out specific names of people. Of who will build it.
and then I'm gonna go back. He says, I have called by name. And I have given with him. Now that's had a minute to dry and we'll just go right back over that. There's also several places that are kind of references back to the Garden of Eden and how this tabernacle is supposed to kind of be a reiteration of Eden and a dwelling place for God. So in this, the question is kind of like, why doesn't God just create something out of nothing like he does in Genesis 1? But this is showing that he is partnering with the children of Israel in this work. And in the same way that he gave Adam and Eve responsibility to care for the garden, he's giving the children of Israel a new Eden to care for and cultivate and be responsible over. So I'm going to kind of, I'm not going to write all of that, but I'm going to write kind of some of that. Okay, so that is what I have for the workmen. The last half of chapter 31 um, is kind of a reiteration of the Sabbath and the Sabbath laws. And I just have a couple things to write about that. So I'm gonna kind of do that. This is showing that this is kind of a necessary reiteration because these have been slaves that are coming out of building everything in Egypt that now they are gonna have to build this tabernacle, but it's necessary for him to reiterate the laws of the Sabbath here because even the most holy tasks have to be done with rest in view. Um, and this is showing labor according to the good boundaries of God.
All right, so there is chapter 31, which is so exciting because we've officially made it like through the instructions for the building of the tabernacle and the giving of the law and all of that. And it kind of goes back to narrative for at least a few chapters after that. So that's pretty exciting. So next, what I actually think I want to do instead of moving into chapter 32 for notes, I want to go back to kind of um, the beginning of the instructions for the tabernacle, which is here. And I did move this sticky note, it was down here, but I want to do something I've never done before. This is new and it kind of scares me, but I wanna try it. I have seen a lot of things on Instagram and TikTok and places like that where people are adding pages of notes and things that would be helpful to them into their Bibles. So that's what I want to try to do. I have this print out here, which is not, oh, it's upside down, but this is not actually technically a print out. It is, but I had Casey draw it for me on the computer because I can't draw even on a computer. So this is what I have. This is a diagram of the tabernacle. And I specifically wanted it to be blank because I wanted to fill it in on my own and kind of make it match with what was going on. So what I'm going to do is I have my Bible study workbook here, God of Freedom, which is where I've been getting all of my notes and things for this study. And there is a diagram here of the full thing of the, the court and the tabernacle, like what I have here, but then a little further back somewhere there is a diagram i'm probably too far back uh, there's a diagram of just the inside of the tabernacle so i can label all the things correctly if i can find it there it is so here's a diagram of the tabernacle and then this is the tabernacle and the courtyard and so i'm going to kind of use these two things to fill in this chart that i have created or casey has created for me here the first thing i want to do is kind of label the top of it and i'm going to move my bible kind of off to the side and my little placemat for a minute so that way i can put this like full focus in here for you guys so this is the diagram of the tabernacle and courtyard. Okay. So first I'm gonna label the things inside the tabernacle and I kinda of wanna do it like in color coded a little bit. So like where I have things labeled in my Bible here. I know I said I was gonna move this, but I'm gonna kinda of move it back, but you still can't see what I'm looking at. So like over here on this side, I have where it talks about the Ark of the Covenant and the Mercy Seat. I have like the golden lampstand, all the things in different colors. So I'm gonna kind of do that. So maybe it's easier for me to reference back if I want to, like if I wanna read something about the altar of incense, I'll see what color it is and then find the notes that are in that color in my Bible. So the Ark I kind of have in this coral color, which I'm gonna put like that. Then I'm going to use just my regular pen to fill this in because this is not Bible paper. So I'm just going to put Ark because I know that it's not Noah's Ark. I know that it's the Ark of the Covenant and Ark of the Covenant won't fit in that little box. Okay. And then the over here is the lamp or the golden lamp stand which is not gonna fit in this circle. So I think I will 
write it off to the side here. Then I'll highlight back over that in yellow because that's what color I have it in, which I thought was kind of cool that the um, the lamp ended up being yellow. So then I have, I'm gonna let it dry for a second first. I also have the veil of the temple or the veil of the tabernacle, which I'm gonna kind of do like this because it's pretty significant. And then the bronze altar, which is the one that's actually out in the courtyard, is in yellow. altar and here's the gate so I know I've kind of like skipped some other furniture I'm kind of going in order of the way I have it in my Bible to make sure I'm doing the right colors and it's kind of in weird um, distribution kind of thing so one thing that we had to do in the workbook was kind of like mark the size all the way around and the gate and all of that so I'm gonna do that as well so this is 50 cubits and 10 pillars. And then each side is 100 cubits and 20 pillars. And then the gate on the inside, or the, the front side, is 15 and 15. And then I have the gate in this color. So I'm gonna do the gate like this. And this is, it's 50 cubits total across, which I know from this side being 50 cubits total across. And the gate is four pillars and 20 cubits, but you can kind of figure that out. But I'm gonna put the gate here. Great, so there's for the gate. I'm gonna go back and highlight the golden lampstand, which it's still smudged because that's what yellow highlighters do. Gate. All right. So there's that. Next, we have, let me see what we have next. Next we have the Altar of Incense, which is also this color. These things just kinda, where they were all spread out, kinda ended up all being the same colors. That's fine. I'm gonna like, I can't decide if I want to do like little arrows back into the things or not. I'll decide that in a minute. So 
So then, that's the, I missed the table and the, oh, here's the, um, the bronze basin. Which goes here. Whoops, that's not writing very well. I missed the table somewhere. I don't know. Oh, no, that's not it. Hang on. It's in here somewhere. I just missed where I stuck it. Oh, here it is, the table. And it is also this color. Apparently nothing is in teal. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do now is kind of label the areas. So this is the most holy place. This is the holy place. And this is the outer court. Which I will think I will do in the teal because nothing else is. And then I may like mark the measurements around, whoops, in the teal. Okay, so there is our diagram of the tabernacle, which I have custom color coded to match all of my notes in my Bible. So I have never added anything into my Bible before and it kind of stresses me out to think about it, but I'm gonna try it anyways. So I think I'm gonna put it like right here because this is kind of the beginning of the, um, this is kind of the beginning of the instructions for the tabernacle and the way I have seen some other people do this on Instagram is with a glue stick. So I went to my church and borrowed a glue stick that no one was using out of a supply room that didn't even know we had to see it's brand new. And I have seen that they just kind of like go down the side of the page and kind of like, I don't really know how says she rotate the one I saw do this says she rotates the glue stick down the page I guess so it doesn't just leave like random lines okay so once she's done with the glue stick we just stick it in right where we want it and kind of do like this and close it and wait for it to dry and see what happens. Okay, so I've let it sit for a minute. So let's see kind of how it has turned out. Let's see, where did it go? There we go. Okay. I mean, that's, that's in there. Huh. I kind of like that. All right. So now I have the tabernacle layout and diagram actually in my Bible. So that is really exciting. So I will kind of flip through the tabernacle and, um, description of all the buildings and makings of things from this point up to where we are now so you can kind of see where we're at we're so close to being done with exodus Ugh, i'm so excited but i really like how this kind of is in here so i may have to do this more so here's the beginning of the tabernacle our little tab tabernacle diagram we added in there and if i wanted to i can even put like more notes on the back side of this page 
So different things about the tabernacle. We've got some post-it notes going on here about the, the door and the garments of the priest. Some more post-it notes. More note, post-it notes. And there we are up to chapter 32, which means we only have eight chapters total left till we finish Exodus totally, but only about three more chapters until I'm caught up with where I am in my journaling because I've actually only studied to chapter 34 so far. So chapters 35 through 40, I haven't even gotten to yet. So, so close to the end of Exodus. This is all that we've done so far. I'm so excited about it. I love it so much. So I really like the way that the stuff from today has turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when I post new videos on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching.